had aspirations to direct. Um, Sidney Newman had gone to the BBC as head of drama. And I, one day I got a call from him saying, um, what do you know about children? Well, since I was unmarried and had no children, I said, absolutely nothing at all, Sydney. He said, well, I've got this new children's series that we're starting in the drama department, and, and I want you to come and, and be interviewed by someone as a possible producer. And that was Doctor Who. I was 27, and I was younger than any of the other producers who were all male in the drama department. And um, there were a lot of people, I think, who, for various reasons, which had nothing to do with me, didn't particularly want it to work. It was thought, with, with some justification, because I was an inexperienced producer, that the first director should be a director of some experience, and they put a very experienced director on, who took one look at me, I think, and decided that, that he would do everything the way he wanted to, and I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't say anything. And, which was his first mistake, really, his only mistake. Um, and when he realized that, that I had strong opinions, which did not necessarily uh, uh, fall in with his, um, he asked to be removed, which was terrific, really. <laughs> the special effects department were quite supportive, except they didn't have any time to do in the special effects. But they did find some outside people who were very, very supportive. But we had most problem with the design department, who were very unsupportive. They basically, uh, I think, had an attitude that who was this woman, this young woman, who probably didn't know anything, and who would, you know, who they really were just going to palm off with any second-rate stuff. And of course, uh, we had, I did have the most awful row with that. Cal is dead. I give you fire. I am leader. Yeah! 